What is going on guys? Welcome to a brand new video. Welcome back to the channel. It's Dev. We're here. Vip! Back. Happy Saturday. Hope you're all having a great day. Last on Veep. Uh, stay, uh, la, la, what was she on? State of, uh, she was on some NBC show. I don't remember what it's called. Not State of the Union, but it, it, something, whatever the fuck it's called. Um, she went on there, got leaked, calling, uh, what's his name? Whatever, uh, Asian American he was being like hey he's not even from america and shit like that and it made her look bad it was really bad um and then a bunch of other shit happened and uh yeah i'm excited to see what happens here on veep season one episode five let's get into it in three two one you know democracy is fantastic but it is also fucking dull god doesn't look like they're gonna break a tie selena does not even have to be here fucking c-span uh, is she falling asleep no, she cannot fall asleep on live TV, not on C-SPAN. The irony would be too huge. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Are you really waving? She cannot see you through the TV. Most of us <laughs> learn that when we're... She is not falling asleep. No, it is just very warm down there. Whoa, head jerk. Just head jerk. Okay. <laughs> it's understandable. C-SPAN's pretty boring. Democracy's pretty boring. But that's how you know everything's going pretty well. If politics in America are boring as fuck. Of course you did, of course. Please, stop staring at me like that. Undressing me with your eyes. I'm adding more clothes, Mike. Clean jobs, almost ready for liftoff, right? A little more detail work, yes. but yes, I do think that we can start the countdown. Yay. <laughs> you know, speaking of spacesuits, I met Buzz Aldrin at a book signing. Huh. You know what really freaks those guys out? He's seeing 17 dawns in a matter of 24 hours. Okay. And saying that the, the, the Earth is flat and the moon landing never happened. They're like, what the fuck? Hey, where is Dan? I have been trying him all morning. He's not been picking up. Oh, I don't like that. Probably sending photos of his dick to himself. Left him a voicemail. Called him a name. Just a little thing we My do. But called him a name. I'm I thought for the opener we'd do a little self-deprecating joke about your snooze in the Senate. No. You wanna hear it? No. Okay, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Here you go, first home run. Mm -hmm. Firefighters have a passion for their work. Arsonists just have a burning desire. <laughs> Is that even a joke? Yeah, it's got another one. All right. Ladders, obviously germane to the firefighting business. You go, uh, firefighters are always climbing ladders and uh, in politics, you're always in this I don't even know what I wrote, but it's basically you're taking steps to get somewhere, but without a ladder. Yeah. You already failed. We laugh at all. We'll no. bring that one back when it's ready. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fire safety guy asked me the other day, and this is your voice, do I smoke in bed? And I said, I've never had any complaints. <laughs> shock. Too shock. Okay. All right. This is kind of a half an idea. All right. So the idea is if you're a fireman, Putting a wet blanket on something. You are like <laughs> The stroke is an excuse for coming in late to this office. Having sex is absolutely not damn. Right. Quite right, madam. Although, in my defense, I didn't even think you'd be here. So. Why? Well, there's the briefing on the fiscal responsibility bill at the. So I just. So you'd be there. I w wasn't invited. What? This is happening. Right now. Fuck that POTUS. He did this with the defense budget briefing two weeks ago. Go you get a gag on top of Rick! the. Gag. No, oh, we don't get to see the president. I think I made a big point by being there. Big point. I was breathing really heavily, though. You don't think anyone noticed that? No, do God, you? No. no. Bob Lewis has got emphysema. Sounds like a broken down leaf blower. He does. <laughs> <laughs> That's an uncanny impression of him. Uh, Madam Vice President. Yeah. Oh, hi, hey, Jenna. Jenna. You come and see us? Oh, no, I, I had to take a personal hour. I have a nutritionist appointment. Oh, hope you're okay. I'm fructose intolerant. Fructose? Uh, fruit sugars. It's very rare. Oh, well, good luck with all that. Of course, Jonah has the rare problem. It's like, okay, Jonah. Just when you thought he couldn't get any weirder, he did. Oh, God. On God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love that, that transition. Am I still getting unequivocal support on clean jobs? I, uh, I need some good, solid White House mm -hmm. intel mm -hmm. on this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the white geist. Right. The white geist. <laughs> Well, are you self-Googling? Yeah. We have guys in the office to do that, ma'am. Yeah. I wouldn't search on your name or your nicknames, really. My nicknames? 
Gary, what are my nicknames? Oh, no. <laughs> Search on to kind of pick up on blog coverage. But, I mean, like what? Uh, okay. There's, um, there's one that has to do with the legislation you did to support women breastfeeding in public. That was good legislation. It was good legislation. Mamory Meyer. Oh, yeah, please. Yeah. Like that. Wait. <laughs> well, really? Eh. Okay. Uh, Grizzly Madam. Oh. She-Ra. Liar oh. the Liar. Oh. The Bat Cave. Yep. Piss Face. Oh. Wicked Witch of the West Wing. Nice. Deep Throat. Piss Face? Huh? No, not that one. <laughs> Vaselina. <laughs> I was deliberately late for work because I wanted her to believe that she was more important to me than my job. Did she fall for that? I doubt it. But it's the thought that counts. She appreciates the gesture of me trying to trick her into believing that. Okay. Do you like this place? I love this place. Yeah. No frills. It's where real Americans are. Since you guys went out, you've been getting action, right? Oh, mad action. I got a cock like a cappuccino frother. One of the big ones, the industrial ones, not the little ones. Oh, that's... Oh, shit. They need me back at the West Wing, like, now. What, do we declare war? No, it's worse. Interactive tour section of the website is down. <laughs> it's worse! Hey, there's a extreme metal band playing over at Labyrinth tonight. Just real fucked up noise. They don't even have a name. You want to check it out? Yeah. They're yeah, definitely okay. metal as shit, if that's the case. Lead metal. Great. And what would you like? To eat at a different fucking restaurant. That's fucked. But me too, that place looks busy as hell. Fuck that. Pretty much all here. We just need to up the stakes substantially. Non-compliance penalties. Don't you think those should be greater? I think we should just, uh, I think we should just find the fuckers so the fuckers aren't fine. <laughs> hey. Uh, I'm gonna head home if it's okay if I'm not needed. Yeah, sure. <laughs> What's in the bag? Well, I got my first Zumba class tonight. Oh, Zumba. Hey, Gary, what are some of the other nicknames? Oh, come on. This is what? masochism. No, it's not. I have very thick skin. I'm just interested, that's all. It's just various VP things. You know, Viagra prohibitor, visible pain. Viagra prohibitor? <laughs> because when a guy's with me, he doesn't need Viagra. <laughs> no. Um, Means that even if a guy uses it, Ugh. does it work? They are saying that a prescription medication that is supposed to guarantee a strong and sustained erection in all men. I disagree with them, by the way. Wait, wait, wait. What about V pilf? No, huh? that's no, flattering. Gary, no, no Gary. you know what that means? Vice President, I would like to, you know, fool around with. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not scared of oil lobbyists. I'm only scared of two things. Yeah, bats and Alzheimer's. You won't remember. Sydney Purcell. Madam Vice President. Sydney, what a fucking women's name. <laughs> Clean jobs. You know, I am from oil, but that doesn't mean that I don't care deeply about uh, my children's future and, of course, oh. their children's future. Speaking of children, I gotta go. Catherine is waiting to Skype with me. Great. Bye bye. Uh, I don't have any children. I have a niece, but I fucking hate her. How charming. Oh. I need to be getting home. So. You know, I wanted to tell you, if you think that this bill of yours is going to tell you, I think you're borderline developmentally disabled. This bill is a fucking disgrace, and I'm going to see to it personally that it gets chewed up like a dead prostitute in a wood. Jesus. Fuck oil lobbyists, dude. I bet they're like that in real life, too. <laughs> you only got two hours of sleep last night. Yeah, well, with how many times you gotta get up and pee, Mike? I think we're about even. Hey, have you boy? They have a little good friendship. I like that. Because of your high taxes, non-compliance penalties, this is cold, calculated class genocide perpetrated by someone who's either evil or eligible to be held on a fifty-one fifty at a mental health facility. Wow. Oh my God, Dan. No more Salinas. Okay. <laughs> I don't need to hear you. Mike? <laughs> oh. <laughs> the president is very eager to get the fiscal responsibility bill through. It was so eager that. Oh, shit, no. He wants all focus to be on that bill. He's dropped five other pieces of legislation. No. Clean jobs as well. Oh. That president, he is a suffocating. Okay, it's. it's, it's... <laughs> Jesus! 
Dan, did your boyfriend know anything about this? I was trying to use Jonah for intelligence. That's like trying to use a croissant as a fucking dildo. A croissant? Why don't we just wait this out, OK? We Maybe come back we just to wait Is that what you're going to suggest? Remind me never to get trapped inside a burning building with you, Mike. <laughs> well, he's trying to nudge you out of the process of government. Oh, isn't that thoughtful, Amy? So he would like you to head up a program that is very important and very dear no. to his heart. No. No, 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 no. You do not do this to me. Do not say that it is obesity. Do not say that to me. It's obesity. <laughs> the president knows how uncomfortable I am made by Oh. <laughs> to keeping weight off? Shut your fucking pie hole. How about that? It's not rocket science. I'm not a nutritionist, am I? No, I'm not. Fuck sakes. Have you ever had a weight problem? Yeah, I have. <laughs> okay, since she had a weight problem, she has the right to say that. Since, I guess, since she had a weight problem, she has the full right to say that. I personally agree. You know, hey, I'm a big boy. All right, I'm a big boy, okay? And I agree. It's all about self-control. And that's something I don't have on self-control. Now, to be fair, I will give myself this. A year ago, I weighed 170. Or not 170, Jesus Christ. 270. Now I'm like 250. So, hey, 20 pounds lost in a year. I mean, I don't look great, but hey, that's a start. Now I just need to jump it up a notch my main problem is soda i drink a lot of soda it's my big deal but hey i'm not necessarily I, i'm not fat phobic i think obviously obesity isn't a good thing i shouldn't be saying that because i'm fairly obese but at the same time like i i'm aware that it's it's not a good thing you know what i mean it's pretty bad it is, and it's hilarious that she got put on that. After trying to do something very good, which is against everything about American society and capitalism, you know, clean jobs, you know, just oil refinery, you know, changing oil, how we use it, the people who work in it, you know, how we dedicate so much of our money and resource, resources to oil. We start wars over oil. It's a crazy thing. It's a real thing, too. I mean, I think practically almost every war after the probably Civil War was based off of oil. Not every war after the Civil War, but you know what I mean. Like, a lot, a lot of wars are... are Fought for, for resources and, and oil and, and money and profit. A lot of the government makes a, a big portion of their money. And a lot of the oil companies could definitely uh, benefit off of war. <laughs> it's so weird to say. It is. But that was a good episode, man. Get, got some nicknames for, for Selena. Dumb down her ego a bit. And it's pretty funny. Uh, I liked... Uh, Dan and Jonah going to a metal concert and Dan trying to or yeah, Dan trying to get fucking using Jonah and tells him it was pretty funny. It was funny. I enjoyed that. Um and yeah. Crazy shit. Crazy fucking shit. I like this show, man. I like the the humor. The political humor is good. I know it probably gets like like, the humor, political-wise, is probably really good. I wonder if they're going to have, like, a Donald Trump. Like, once the seasons get later into 2016, 17, and all that, like, I wonder if Trump will, will show up. Or if they're just going to have, like, a funny reference towards that. We'll see, though. We'll see. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, if you did, please like, favorite, subscribe, hit the notification bell for daily videos every single day. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and Instagram, and all the social medias down in the description below, and we'll get you for another video. Goodbye!